So let's talk about some of the gorgeous pictures that Eric's been getting tonight. Yeah, like rainbow pictures and then sunset pictures tonight. Good day for the sky. No question about that. We're getting tons of pictures this afternoon with some of those halos in the sky. And this evening, just an awesome sunset across the area. I know this one's a little bit out of the viewing area, but I liked it so much when it was sent in. This is in East Killingly, Connecticut. Ryan sending it in. Just a cotton candy sky. Beautiful out there. This is a picture over the Charles and the Teddy Ebersol Red Sox fields. They really pop there, I think. And the sky just on fire. John Gage sending that one in over Boston and Cambridge. And beautiful over Buzzards Bay. Thanks to Craig and thanks to everyone. Can't show every single picture, but we try to show as many as they can. We uh, always appreciate you sending them our way. Uh, today, beautiful. We had a high of 85 in Boston. We've actually had 20 days hit 80 so far this year. That's up there on the list for the most on record through this date. And we had a lot of those in May. We've had several of them in June. Usually we average 32 for the entire year. So to already be more than halfway there, and it's not even summer yet technically, it's had our fair share of those warm ones. And it's pretty mild outside tonight in the 60s. Boston still holding on to the 70s. We've got a couple of systems to keep track of over the next 24 hours, but most of this wave of low pressure and its rain heads off to our south. Most of the action with this front is going to be fairly quiet also. So tomorrow morning, best chance for some raindrops right on the south coast, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket. Tucket and the Cape I wouldn't expect much rain out of this. Not going to help out the lawns and gardens much. And then as we head into the afternoon, a chance for a pop-up shower as that cold front moves down across the area. So the clouds will build up a little bit and a chance for a little bit of rain out there, but I don't think it'll be hitting every town. Summer solstice is at 607, which means we have max daylight for tomorrow. It means the days get a little bit shorter after tomorrow. We're not going to talk about that right no. now, though. We have, no, we have plenty of summer to get through. So tomorrow morning, temperatures in the 60s. That slight chance of a shower on the south coast. Midday, we're up around 80 for lunchtime. We will see the winds come in out of the northeast in the afternoon. So temperatures will begin to cool, especially toward Cape Ann and the seacoast. So you'll notice a drop into the 60s here from Boston north as we head into the afternoon hours. High temps near 80 for inland locales. So at the beach, expect that wind shift as we head into the afternoon especially again from Boston northward. Now Friday we've got bright skies, comfortable temperatures, very low humidity. Saturday we've got a warm front lifting up across the region. This should bring mostly cloudy skies and some scattered showers. Right now I would say that the best chance of rain looks more towards Saturday evening and Saturday night, but I wouldn't rule out at least a few showers during the day. Then on Sunday we've got a push of some more muggy air into the area and some pop-up showers and storms in the afternoon on Sunday. So the weekend is not a washout, but there are several chances for some rain showers and even some rumbles to move through. Temperatures holding in the 70s on Saturday with that cloud cover and then on Sunday we should get into the 80s with a more humid feel. We'll see how much rain can really get generated here on Saturday evening, maybe producing a delay for the Red Sox as they return home. Friday looks excellent. Sunday will likely be dry as we head into the afternoon. Most of those pop-up showers and storms would be toward the end of the game or after it. Humidity spikes on Sunday. It looks like it'll linger until Monday morning before dropping out. Here's the full seven day. Monday could also bring a pop-up shower or run rumble of thunder. And then next week we're looking at bright skies, warm temperatures for at least Tuesday and Wednesday, if not into Thursday as well. David and Lisa, back to you. All right, Eric, thank you. Well, you can